crazy, but that was explosive. Yeah, this is a good game. Hello everyone, Andrea Mengucci here. I am back in the Car Market Studios. Yeah, you wanted him back, we got him back. You clicked, liked, subscribed, commented. Where's Andrea again? I didn't see him for like two months. So we got him back and this is because of you. So if you want to see something specific, if you like something, please comment, like, subscribe and eventually we're gonna do it if enough people want it. So about wanting it, what do we want to do today? I wanted to play Popper. This was one of my requests. I come here to play videos, but we have to play Popper. And Tom had this very nice idea about trying the new cards in Double Masters 22. You'd be like, but Double Masters 22, it's a reprint. But Popper is this weird format where new cards don't just, you know, get printed like, you know, new Capenna. They also get downshifted. So we have some cards that are uncommon or even rares that got downshifted to common. So now they're Popper legal. All right, great. So we brought two new decks that are actually like, not being able to be played until now. Let's see how it goes. The deck that I'm bringing is Mono Red Kill Field. The way you kill your opponent is kind of easy. You just play the creatures that get bigger when you play instant sorceries. You play instants and sorceries, and then they get bigger, and you deal infinite amounts of damage in one turn. To do that, you have Kill Fiend, after which the deck is named, but you also have Little Kill Fiend that only gets plus 2 plus 0. And now you have the new addition from Pauper Double Masters 2, newly common Monastery Swift Spear. So those 12 creatures, whenever you play a spell, get better and better, and the plan is to cast as many spells in one turn as possible to deal as much damage. Okay, so this is Popper, and me and Toffel today wanted to do a different thing where we played the Popper decks that got impacted the most with Double Master 2022. Because Popper is a format where actually every set impacts it, even the sets with only reprints, because the downshift is a real thing. For example, my deck of today is playing three copies of Militia Bugler, a card from M19 that got downshifted to a common in Double Master 2022. And in this deck, I use Militia Bugler as a value card to get my Glintalk, Seeker of the Way, Thrubbin Inspector, Core Sky Fisher, uh, also some cyber cards like Lone Missionary and Gorilla Shaman. I think Militia Bugler is better than Inspiring Overseer, which is the new Capenna of Angel that draws a card. Of course, missing with it, it's gonna be a big deal, similarly to Augur of Bolas, but a 2-3 Vigilance body is very good, and you can buy it back, of course, with uh, Core Sky Fisher and etc. So, I think it's a great addition. The deck is called the Boris Synthesizer. A synthesizer is a new card from Kamigawa, and there's just so much value with cards like Glintalk, with cards like Corsica Fisher. You bring it back, you make more and more value. It's a really good deck. I played this deck recently in a Popper Challenge. It did quite well. I think it's a strong deck. I think it's honestly just a solid deck overall. Uh, a lot of 50 50 matchups, definitely the jund of the format. All right, let's go. Oh, let's go. Go ahead. Higher. Do the honors. Eight. Eight. Three. Eight. All right. Okay, I'll be on the play. How important is it to be on the play in Popper? It's quite important, especially if you play a deck like Affinity, where you take your first turn to set up and then go off. But I mean, that's kind of normal, right? But it's not as bad as Modern, for example. First end is just one lander. It doesn't matter if there's Ribbon Inspector or Golden Egg. You just mulligan. This deck needs two land to go off and start doing its thing. It three lands even better. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a mulligan. These seven are kinda iffy. I have four lands. You do want to have some lands. Obviously, you're gonna sack some, so it's not that bad to have as many, but you really don't have many options. You have one kill feed, which is great. You don't have cards that redraw. You have one growth and one lightning bolt, which is, I would say, fairly easily good enough to mulligan. You can think about it. I wouldn't fault somebody really for keeping it. It's probably a minor mistake, but this hand doesn't seem good enough, especially if you draw seven and put one back. Yeah, I think me too. I don't want a lot of those. All right. Six. Oh. Okay, this seven card end is fine. We have to bottom a card. It's gonna be a synthetizer as, uh, well, it's a good card, but you have, uh, you know, Golden Egg and the Militia Bugler as card advantage engine as well in the deck. Of course, you know, more synthesizer. So I'm gonna keep, I got a nice curve of uh, Seeker of the Way, Militia Bugler, removal spell on your thing. Good. I will keep my cards and put a card on the bottom. 
The mulligan hand actually looks great. We have two kill fiends and three lava darts. So we're gonna put away one lava dart. And then we have two mountains. We actually have three pair. We have two mountains, two lava darts, and two kill fiends. Now that means once I have those resolved, the lava darts are four spells. We've got both of them plus 12 plus L. So if I get anything that gives trample or any reasonable like inevitability, Andrea's gonna take a lot of damage. All right, I'll keep as well. Let's go. All right, Rasta Bridge, your turn. All right, draw, mountain go. Okay, draw. I'm gonna play a very powerful card, also downshifted from uncommon to commons recently. Recently? Seeker of the Way. Isn't that a little bit old? No, I mean, it's so old, but like in the long length of magic. It's okay, how many, how many non creature spells do you play? Uh, enough, enough to get, make it a 3 3. Ah, enough. Enough. I'll uh, play a mountain and. Well, I guess I play the card the deck is named after. Ooh, Can't be that bad, right? Kiln Fiend, very powerful. Okay. I attack for two. I'm gonna take two. Okay, I go to 18. <laughs> okay, two, yes. Let me cast the card that is made it? me build this deck. It's also downshifted in Double Master 2022, so pretty excited to cast it here. Militia Bugler. First time I cast this card in pauper excited about it if i hit best card in the world if i miss hi Woo! Woo! got lots of choices i'm gonna choose glint Ock. falco <laughs> chicante you go ahead <laughs> all right draw oh god i already have a lot of damage in hand i have two lava darts i have a fire blast but i only have two lands so as soon as I'm attacking, Andrea's gonna block. I don't want to lose my kill fiend. I kind of need some spells that either make them trample or give unblockable. And I pretty much have nothing better to do than just play a second kill fiend. Maybe I can get one through by attacking with both and then we can do infinite amount of damage. I think what we're gonna do is you can't really go wrong with casting another one hmm. and say go. Any a coin decay? A common over I know, I know, I know. Draw a card. This also is the card that names my deck. It's Experimental Synthetizer. Mm. Synthesizer. Synthetizer. Trigger. Ah, yeah, you see? You can trigger it. A, a reveal. Yeah. Boom! Galvanic Blast, also known as Shock. Oh, well, that's pretty bad. No, it's not bad. It's great. Best mm. card in my deck. All right, then I'll do the combo of my deck, which is to play Glintalk to return the Synthesizer and trigger it again. Yeah. Reveal. Another Glint Talk. Okay, so here I revealed this Glint Talk. And of course, I can decide not to cast it. But at the same time, I want to have an additional creature, an additional beatdown to apply lethal next turn. It's going to return a, uh, a land, the, 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 the bridge, which makes so that I don't have double red for next turn. Although, at the moment, I don't have a double red card. I only have one red card to cast next turn, so I think it's fine to apply more pressure and might even be lethal if, you know, Toroth doesn't block na anything next turn. Okay, so I'll begin with uh, Galvanic Blasting your Kiln Fiend. Thinking. Yeah. That's... And then I will attack you for six. Unfortunately, yes. So you go to 12 to 24. Hmm. And then I have to think... Okay, in second main phase, I'll make my land drop mm -hmm. and I'll play this Glint Talk mm -hmm. and return this artifact land. Okay. It's not ideal, but uh, I need to keep up the pressure to show who's the real aggro deck. I mean, I have a one-two. Go know. ahead. <laughs> okay, I need something good. <sighs> Two mana. I'm gonna play a Firebrand. Add. Nice, as many as you want. Bring them on. <laughs> and then... So, then we're gonna play one more mountain. Okay, that's good. Which we definitely didn't draw, I'll tell you. And we cast Ancestor Anger, Tie and Kill Fiend. Sure. Dealing one to you! Nice! Already almost at 20. 23. Draw. Beautiful. So now my Kill Fiend is a whooping 5 2. Trample. You go. Okay, I'll begin with the golden egg. Mm -hmm. Draw a card and trigger this. <laughs> yeah. Play a tap land. And then I will attack you with everybody. That's nine? So you don't block? No. Official? 
official don't block. You officially do not block. I mean, if you have Cavani, Blast, I'm dying anyway, so it doesn't Yeah, matter. I'll shock you. Um, and that's exactly 12. So you have no blockers, right? At least you should be lower. Then we're gonna fire Blast. Wow! Okay, so... This so you take one, dies. go to 22. I got a 22. Then I but take seven. I, no, go you have, I also shocked you. Yeah. Yeah, you got a two, I got a 26. Wow, fire blast. Okay, two to 26. Uh, I pass the turn. I think I have a shot if I draw the right cards. All right, that's probably not the right card. Every spell I do is four damage. I can do 23. Show me. Well, you're 26. Show me how. <laughs> so no, you're 26. You're, you're dead next turn. I know. I can just double double lava dart twice. Okay. Which is four spells. So that would be. So that's 20, 20. Every every lava dart is 10 damage. This is 10 damage. So yeah. it's 10, 20, 23. Yeah. You go to three. I heard I heard it three. Thank you, Seeker of the Way, for gaining me ah, eight life so this game. So close. Win. Woohoo! <laughs> Sideboarding is not too thick. We're gonna board in the two Apostles Blasting because I really don't want them to die. Andrea has Galvanic Blast. Maybe he brings some more form of removal spells. I don't really know, but at least I want to be able to protect my kill feed. But also, since almost all or all of the creatures Andrea places wide, it actually acts like an unblockable spell. So I kind of also want that because he plays so many creatures that can block and I, I just really want to have protection. I can also use it to block the Seeker of the way in combat and the Kill Fiend doesn't die, which is kind of a defensive mechanism, but probably necessary when it comes to that. And on the other side, I'm boarding a Team of Battle Rage because I really want to have Trevor on Double Double Strike. And I'm boarding a Fiery Cannonade, which seems just awesome against all of the creatures he has. And for that, I'm taking out three Firebrand Archer, which are not overwhelming. They can barely ever attack or trade with like anything reasonable. And the damage just doesn't add up to something relevant. And the Fire Blast. I can see it being a good finisher, but I think the games go quick and Fire Blast is a bit more potent when the games go long because then your sacrificing cost of the mountains doesn't actually matter that much. Okay, got the game one. It was cool, it was close. The Seeker of the Way definitely pulled a lot. It's gonna be very premium in this matchup. For Sideboard, I have three additional two drop in Lone Missionary. While Tower of Deck isn't a burn deck, a mono red deck, uh, I think the Lone Missionary being a blocker for Kiln Fiend, I think it's good enough. And then I also decided to bring in Gutshot. It only kills Farblood Archer, but having an extra prowess could be very relevant uh, for your Seeker of the Way. The cards I'm cutting are. Uh, Relic of Progenitus, of course, this is not a matchup for them. And a couple of Glint Talk. I mean, they're a good card, but they require you to uh, build uh, your artifacts with Synthesizer or Golden Egg, and that might be too late in the game. Okay, let's go for the second game. Okay, all right, I start? Yeah. <sighs> so close. Very it's ridiculous. Close. Very close. <laughs> let's go for a Seeker of the Way again. Okay, the seven card end is fine. Having two Synthesizer isn't ideal in this matchup, but of course we take it. I'm gonna start with a turn one tap land, not Raven Inspector, in order to guarantee a turn two Seeker of the Way, which will be crucial to block a Kiln Fiend. Okay, Torof, I decide to keep this hand. This hand looks great. We have a Kill Fiend, we have removal spells to go with it, we have interaction, like making it bigger, drawing cards. I don't think there's a better hand besides actually drawing a Swift Spear. All right, I keep- Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna go Mountain, two. So you have no Swift Spear in your deck? Your free double monsters. I think we. Wait, is it already a common now? <laughs> <laughs> I drew the third copy of my card, and then I'm gonna go to 21. Boom. Well, wow, this gives you a life, bro. Draw. Beautiful. We're gonna cast a kill thing. Okay. Go ahead. You play a two mana one two. So this doesn't sound like a good card. So now I have the decision between casting a seeker or casting a lone missionary. I go for the Lone Missionary, since I need to trade with the Kill Fiend, and, uh, well, I prefer to trade with the worst card in Lone Missionary than the Seeker. Also, you know, it might seem weird, but 21 life, you could die. 25, you still could die, but at least it's a little bit safer, so I think going for turn 2 Missionary is better. Define good card, you know? I'm going to play instead a 2-2-1 two two that gains me 4 life. Go ahead. Draw a card. Oh, wow, actually. No, don't kill me. 
No, you're just mega dead. Sorry. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're mega dead. Okay, just do it slowly, though. I have interactions in my hand. I play. Okay. Play mountain. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna kick off with Lava Darling the yes, Missionary. I Trigger. That. So this is a four. So now this represents the damage you're taking, right? Yeah. All right. Then gonna ancestral anger the kill fiend. Okay, so that's four more. Right. Let's draw a card. Draw. So now if I ancestral anger, it makes it's five. Five, but instead we're gonna lightning bolt you. So I go to twenty-two. You're at twenty-five. Twenty-five, fuck. <laughs> and this one is three more power. No, it, this is eleven. Now. This is the total power. Yeah. So if we're gonna lava dart you. It's gonna be. It's gonna be four more damage. Yeah. So that's. No, sorry, three more power. No, four. Yeah, but three more power, and I go to twenty-one. So even though a lot of the math involved with Kill Fiend is somewhat set up by like threes, you know, every spell deals kind of three damage, and then you have some extras from Lava Dart and Lightning Bolt. It's not the easiest, you know, you still have to go through the motions and get kind of feeling for it. Actually, I thought I had lethal, and by lethal I mean dealing 20 damage, which I have in my defense, but I kind of forgot that Andrea is on 25 life, and midway doing all of those actions, I realized, okay, it's not gonna deal 25. So I backed up, I kept Mutagen Jove and an Anger in hand so I can give Trample and a lot of power again next turn. And that should be safe against any creature under a spells and also any removal spell that should remove my kill thing. I'm going I'm at seven right now. Oh, you thought you did it? You did it? You submit the play? Okay, I'm at 21. Okay. So you're 21, take 14. I go to seven. Go. Wow, that was, <laughs> but even as the other sister anger, play that. Right? You know what, sometimes you just have to make a statement. And I think 18 is a good statement. Okay, since the kill feed looks quite scary, I'm gonna lightning bolt it. Uh, wow, you had 18. 18, okay, saved. Then I'm gonna play a Traben Inspector. Yes. Making a Max McBeady clue. And then it pass. <laughs> Draw. So, Faithless Looting. Okay, so this is a four now. Trigger, yes. Yeah. Draw, draw, discard. Okay. Anger. Anger, so this is a plus five, you draw a card. Now it's nine trample. Nice trample, this is exactly lethal. Just add all these. Mutagenic growth. <laughs> nice. All right, good games. With Double Masters 2022, the stores will be able to restock and uh, you know grab some of the most um, exciting new cards you can find them on car market yeah and actually kamakro is sponsoring the video and all the decks for this episode so if you want to get some of the new popper cards or basically any new double masters card go to kamakro it's in the link in the description down below and then you can find every card you want for the commander day you can find dices play mats sleeves basically everything you ever need so go down buy some of them and you make us very happy and you keep the videos going all right, so, 1-1. One, one. Third and final game I'm on the play, which is pretty important since you're playing a very explosive deck. Oh, I feel like I have to keep this one. I'm really happy to see the hand with Swift Spirit. We didn't have them game one and two, and I really wanted to see how good they are in the deck. So we got two of those, and we have a Lightning Bolt, which means we can go Swift Spear attack, then land Swift Spear Bolt, and I mean, that's almost modern. This is crazy. Alright, this end is perfect. I have two Seeker of the Way, the best card in this matchup. I have a normal mana base, starting with a turn one tap plan. I got Galvanic Blast for this Kiln Fiend. I am good to win this game. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Hit it. Go. Wow. A tapped land. I'm also gonna play a tapped land. And. Da -da -da -da! <laughs> Popper 2022. Take one. This is the first time you go from 20 actually to 19. Go ahead, sir. Drop. I'll play the signature card of my deck. Seeker of the Way. Mm. Good. Draw. You got a bolt. Maybe. Oh. No, man, this is like modern. Hello. <laughs> Come. I mean, you played a tap land. <laughs> Take four. I got a 15. Your turn. There you go. 
All right, but look at this. Um, 16. Oh. And then I'll play another one. Right. Oh no, that's bad. We don't like those. Draw. Look at this Council of Dark here, just uncommons in Council of Dark here dominating Pauper. All right, let's play a Reckless Impulse. Nice. Until your next turn. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep, next turn. Until your next turn. Yep. Until the end of your next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like so this one is being Yeah, you can castable. cast it later. Yeah, no, let's attack. And we're gonna no, don't pull double lover dart your seeker. No. So you take six. No gut shot. I take more than six. You take eight, go to eight. Okay. Go ahead. And tap. Man, this card is good, you know? Yes, I wish I had two bullets now, but I don't. I'm at eight, and you have a mutagenic growth in end. So that's four, five. If you played against the Infect in Modern in the past, you know that uh, against prowess creatures or, uh, you know, decks with pump spells, it's always better to point a removal spell either at sorcery speed in your turn or at the end of their turn. Monster Two Spear did already a lot of damage. I think it's just better to Galvanic Blast in my turn. If he has uh, Mutagenic Growth, it's bad, but at least he's not going to pump their creature for four. So play removal spell in your turn. Okay, I think I can survive. I'm gonna shock the Kiln Fiend. Kind of don't know if I have to rescue the Swift Spear. Andreas is tying it with a Galvanic Blast. I only have one mutagenic growth in hand and the Apostles Blessing exiled for next turn. I'm kind of a bit short on damage. It's not that much, but I feel like I'm going to have to protect the Swift Spear. Every card I draw gives an additional prowess trigger that's not a land. And I think if I only keep one, maybe it gets a little bit too easy to interact with the one Swift Spear. And I think I'm going to rescue it with mutagenic growth. Okay. okay. Sure. I could go for a golden egg, trying to top deck a burn spell to kill one of those, you know, the, the swift spear. But I decide to instead go for a core sky fisher, which is gonna bring back a land for a life gain, just an extra blocker. I don't like my shape. I'm probably gonna lose to the swift spear. So good. Okay, I'm going to play a core sky fisher, mm -hmm. bring back my top land, and replay to gain a life. <laughs> okay. I got nine. Nine. You can go. All right, untap, draw. Wow, that must be one of the better cards in the deck. Jeep. Trigger, trigger, reveal. Oh, yes. So, which actually means we we'll probably want to just deal the most amount of damage we can. Play them out from hand and attack with those. Okay, you're attacking with both from a nine. Obviously, if I block one, you play a Puzzle Blessing. But I don't think my Corsica Fisher does more than this, so I'll just block. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna do damage, so... Yeah, you go to 16, and I take 3, Yeah, you so go I go to six. 6, and this is dead. I can still play Swift Spear. Yeah, Love Swift Spear, it. it's insane. Alright, that's the turn. Yeah. My draws aren't that exciting instead. We well, should play Swift Spears, then they're very exciting. <laughs> Probably should, yeah. I'll play a Golden Egg. Yes. Draw card. Yeah. Didn't you say you enjoyed the three life? Yeah. <laughs> um, golden Egg. I'm, <laughs> oh, oh, broken. I'm dead on, I'm dead on board. Uh, you are definitely dead. Yeah, go board. ahead. Yeah. Look. Oh, that might be lethal. Yeah, <laughs> alright. Good games, good games. What format we just played in the last game? That's a nice round of modern, you know? Like, first two games, <laughs> fine. We were playing our Kill Fiend, our Private Inspector. And then last game you went Swift Spear, Swift Spear, Private Inspector. And then last game... I wanted to highlight how good Swift Spear is. I mean, that was the job of the video, right? <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, that's unbelievable. Like, you could have dealt me easily 30 damage that game, and I, I mean, I think I had a reasonable draw, two Seeker of the Way, a removal spell. Yeah, you had but a I reasonable never stood, draw. And I was in the way, I never stood a chance. Monastery Sister is crazy. Yeah, sounds like Popper just got a new shakeup. There are, like, many more possibilities now, and I'm sure, like, if people want to watch a lot of popper a lot of modern content where can they find you to see even more of those oh yeah magic online content every day on my youtube channel at uh, andramengucci video 
and on my stream from Monday to Friday every morning, uh, again, a lot of magic online content from, again, Modern, Legacy, Popper, Cube. So yeah, check out twitch.tv slash Andrea Mangucci or Andrea Mangucci video on YouTube. Yeah, you can find a lot of strategy there, a lot of great entertainment. And of course, if you want to see Andrea back again on the channel, if you want to see other people, you can write down in the comments who you want to see, what deck you want to be played, and which format. Click, like, subscribe, and the more the channel grows, the more you get out of it what you want. Thank you for watching, see ya.